first got to talk about the birds and the bees? Or at least when you first learned about sex. Her name was Alice. She loves spending time with her family, especially her cousins and uncles. But, but they're friends. Always coming over and sometimes spending the night. But that night. She was waking my hands, touching her in places. In places. That made her uncomfortable and she didn't understand. But she couldn't stop it. Because of the control he had over her, forcing her down and covering her mouth so she couldn't make one sound. No one knew what was going on in the other room because they all got drunk. And how do drunk people act, unaware of their surroundings, so... When it was over, she didn't know what to do with herself. She was only 10. And was told by her rapist she was, she was nothing, nothing. And that if she told, no one would believe her. And that he would kill her. Or at least try. The next day, it seemed like he was coming around more and more often. Three, Three nights, nights of the, the same, same thing, thing happening to her. To her. She, she finally, finally said, said something. something. But like, like he said, said no one, no one believed her. her. And of course, he denied it. One day, she was home alone with him. Afraid of what he might do, she tried to hide. But he knew exactly where to find her. And when he found her, he punched and kicked her, giving her bruises he couldn't explain. So He just choked her, crushing her windpipe and watching her struggle until there was no breath left in her body. He tried to wake her until, I, until he realized he killed her, so he just left her, leaving her family wondering what happened to poor little Alex. Until they did an autopsy and found out that little Alex was raped continuously. Little Alex. No one wanted to listen. Hi, everybody. Um, the poem that I got is called Pain, Hurt, and Emotion. So here it is. There used to be a time where I evolved with a lot of people, but I had to stop because I learned they could be very fake and deceitful. I never thought of y'all. Y'all could turn on me and be very evil, but hey, slick comments and me, mother looks, y'all can keep them. People call me antisocial, and I never did. Just say to myself, having a hard time trusting the people, so I don't vibe with no one else. Take all the pain, the hurt, the emotion, and ask myself constantly, is it really worth it? Sometimes I want to yell and say forget it, but I realize the situations that I put in, I move on and I say forget that. Moving on from the past and focusing on my mind at graduation grades and of course the FCAT. I've been humiliated, but I still manage to keep my head up. Telling my haters off to let them know I ain't said enough. Got mama stressing me about the important stuff. Am I thinking about my future where I will be? Show sure enough. Ain't the tender age of 18. I already know life going to be tough. Good job. Just I'm gonna have you take my phone to do the rest of the video so I can go up, all right? I need it. Can I take the mic? <laughs> hey, y'all. My name is Anthony. Um, I'm a little cold outside and wear a sweater. So I'm doing my poem called Please. Lies. This world we live in is filled with lies. And never the truth when you want it, but when, we, but when we finally get it, somebody see that it is a lie. These lies. Words from a deceitful tongue. I, we, Come on, you got it. You got it. These lies. Words from a deceitful tongue. And we may not speak the same tongue, but I know a lie when I hear one. Please, these lies that don't get past me before I'm in the present, waiting on the future for these lies to finally cease. Please. Pain. The world is filled with pain. And I may turn on the news and see if anything good is on, but it's always seen the same. If it isn't a deadly car accident, suicide, or homicide, I mean, all this pain is killing everyone in the inside like a genocide. And hate. And hate. And hate. The world is filled with hate. And never love when we need love. And too many of us are looking for it in the wrong place. I was told we're supposed to be the builders of our foundation, but instead of building, tell me why we're only destroying. How can we move forward if the only direction we know is backwards? And those that are in neutral need to push to the right direction right now. Because this world is filled with lies, pain, and hate. So be the future you want to see this world filled up with, is all I got to say. Please. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. 
This poem is very dear to me. Um, I lost somebody, so I hope y'all like it. There will never come a day. There will never come a day when they call your death beautiful. As the, <laughs> as the wiser generation would say, you youngins got it all wrong. You mourn when a child is born and you rejoice when a soul is gone. This made me think about certain situations like when they come up to your face and say they're sorry but off in the distance they lie and ridicule you with her hair is not long enough and his swag is not on point. His talk game is so lame and bruh I swear I will never do her because she is so conceited and she has no reason to be. Just like how when y'all get a little bit of money y'all think y'all running things. The point that I'm really trying to make do we need to live in this cold, cold world of hate? Every time you downgrade a kid, it gives them another reason to think of why they need to live with sayings like, ooh, girl, he is so dirty and stank. But what you don't know is that he's doing everything in these streets for him and his sister to survive. Or, uh, she ain't nothing but 16 and pregnant already. But what you don't know is she became pregnant by force, not choice. By someone that was supposed to love and protect her. Her big brother. I bet you a million dollars while I'm up here on the stage. Another child is taking their life just because of something you said. Just because in your eyesight they weren't good enough. They had to change their walk, talk, and eye color for that much. They had to change their whole personality just to fit your personal needs. And at the end of the day, they found out the hard way. It wasn't as all as it seemed. And the mixed or midst of them trying to mold themselves into this perfect person for them. Instead of living for them, they were living for you. Now the pain is no more. Now that the blood from their wrist is leaking down to the floor. Now another family has to suffer with their child being gone because you felt the need to pick on another loved one. So again, like I stated before, there will never come a day when they call your death beautiful. Oh my gosh. I can't snap. Hi, I'm Lori Martin, and I'm the sponsor of the Edgewater Poetry Club. My students have been working really hard this year because they have a poetry slam at the end of the year that they are preparing for. So, to be fair, I told them that I would read some poetry, too, if I got them here today. So I'm going to do the poem, the one they like. It's called Gossip. I have no respect for justice. I aim without killing. I break hearts and ruin lives. I am cunning and malicious and gather strength with age. The more I am quoted, the more I am believed. I flourish at every level of society. My victims are helpless. They cannot protect themselves against me, as I have no name and no face. To track me down is impossible. The harder you try, the more elusive I become. I am nobody's friend. Once I tarnish a reputation, it's never quite the same again. I topple governments and wreck marriages. I ruin careers, cause sleepless nights, heartaches, and indigestion. I spawn suspicion and generate grief. I make innocent people cry in their pillows. My name even hisses. I am gossip. Office gossip, school gossip, party gossip, shop gossip, family gossip. I make headlines, headaches, and heartaches. So before you repeat a story, you need to ask yourself, is it true or am I just using you? Thank you very much.